it's Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I want to share with you a new kit that the Stamps of Life is selling. It is the Sun and Fun kit. This is not a card kit. So if you are a card kit member, this is not going to automatically come to you. You have to actually purchase this separately if you want this kit. First of all, I want to say that this kit is perfect for your summer cards. I am so in love with this. Just look at all the fun goodies that you get. And what I really love is this large sunglasses fold it. This actually is a slimline size and it makes sunglasses. Isn't that adorable? And it includes these layering pieces that you can include if you want to just add an extra fun layer of diagonals on those lenses. Of course, you don't have to use these. You can just create your sunglasses with a solid lens if you chose to do that. You can also turn this into a shaker. So this is so much fun. I absolutely love that die. So, so moving on, you do get a new color. The Stamps of Life is actually introducing a new color with this kit. You do get their Peacock Ink, which is a beautiful blue color. So this is a larger ink pad and you also get the refill. So that's included in the kit and you also get these two ribbon. So you have the new Peacock color, this is just a solid, and then this is more of a thick, um, almost like a, I don't know, almost like a cord, I guess but it's a much thicker ribbon and it's so pretty. My gosh, I love this color. And then you also get another die. This is Sun and Fun. You could almost use this like a sign. And I just die cut it out just so you can see what it looks like. This is just this top piece. If you wanted to back it up on something, you can back it up on another color cardstock, which you die cut out of the shadow die. But I just wanted to show you what it actually cuts out. So it says Sun and Fun. And then you get this hibiscus stencil. Isn't that pretty? So there's your stencil with all those flowers. And you also get these epoxy dots. Look how pretty these epoxy dots, various shades of blue. So here's the new peacock color and then the other shades of blue, some green and some white. And then these really pretty flower epoxy dots. They come in the guava, the sunshine, the ocean, and some silver. Okay, I'm gonna save these die cut pieces for last. Let's move on to the paper pad. This is called Pretty Peacock Collection, and the colors in here are Guava, Cantaloupe, Kiwi, Ocean, Sunshine, and Peacock. You get 24 double-sided sheets. Now, this paper pad, it does have various sheets to die cut. For example, these are the floaties. These match the floaties to stamp, so if you have the floaties to stamp dies, you can use your shadow dies and cut these out. There are also some fun dots and some scalloped borders. There's also these hibiscus flowers and you can use the tropical to stamp dies to cut those out and use those on your cards. Here's some more circles and some more scalloped borders. And then there's also this fun paper which you can use to replicate, let's say you wanna create ocean water. It kind of reminds me of waves. And then here are the dolphins. So if you have the dolphins to stamp dies, you can use your shadow dies to die cut these fun dolphins and fish. Of course, if you don't have the dies, you can always fussy cut out just using your scissors. You also have these birds, using the birds to stamp. Sunglasses, you can die cut these with your sunglasses to stamp. And then these birds, bird pudgy 15 dies. You can die cut those. And then again, there's that new peacock color, absolutely beautiful. And then it starts back at the beginning. So that is your paper pad. And then so here are the die cut pieces that you also get. So in addition to all of these pieces that you can die cut out of your paper pad, you also get these fun die cuts that you can use on your cards. So with this kit, I made five cards and I also made a sunglasses mini album. And in this video, I will share the five cards that I made and the process with you. And in a separate video, I will be sharing a tutorial on how I made the sunglasses mini album. And the sunglasses mini album will be turned into a shaker. So if you wanna see how to turn that sunglasses die into a shaker, be sure to subscribe subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so that you do not miss out on that video that's coming up.
So let's go ahead and get started with the five card tutorial. For this first card, I am going to make a sunglasses shaped card. So I die cut the pattern paper out of just the lenses portion of that sunglasses die and then die cut the frame out of the sunshine cardstock and the shadow piece out of the guava cardstock and I'm just layering those pieces together. So you can see how those lenses actually fit right inside of the sunglasses frame and I wanted it to look like it was kind of like an ocean scene in those lenses so I used that ocean um, pad type of pattern paper in the peacock color and I die cut the sun and fun die but I'm only going to be using the actual letters out of it. I didn't want to use the entire rectangle shape because I thought it would look kind of odd on the sunglasses so I die cut them out of the guava cardstock and I did put double sided adhesive on the back of that cardstock before running it through the die cut machine so that the letters actually have adhesive on the back already. So I am going to add a few of the die cut pieces. These are from the loose die cuts that were included in the kit. So I add a fish there like he's swimming in the water, add a starfish, and I also add these flower embellishments, these little flower epoxy dots, and I just add them there on both sides of those sunglasses. So now I'm going to make the actual card base. So I take a piece of white cardstock, fold it in half, and then I'm going to take the largest sunglasses die in the set, and I'm just going to put it there slightly above the fold in that cardstock, and just add some washi tape to hold it down. And then I'll run that through my die cut machine and it gives me this card base. Now I want you to notice that if you were to put the sunglasses directly on the card base, the top part is a little bit flat. And to fix that, you're going to take that same die that you cut for the card base and you're going to die cut a just a regular piece of white cardstock. This white cardstock was not folded, it's just a single layer. And then if you add that sunglasses decorative piece to that white cardstock that you cut separately. You'll see that you actually have the curve in the sunglasses now at the top of those sunglasses. So just add it to the white layer and then add that entire layer onto the actual card base. And then that will give you the nice curve at the very top and then there's your card. So there is how you make a slimline sunglasses card using the sunglasses folded die set in the kit. So moving on to card two. This card is going to be an A2 size card and I have this stamp have a fantastic birthday that I'm inking up with the new peacock color ink and I'm backing that on to a piece of sunshine cardstock. Now the white piece of cardstock I actually cut with a square die. It's one of the Stamps of Life square dies. And then I just um, trimmed out a piece of sunshine cardstock to layer underneath that. I'm also using this piece of wave pattern paper in the peacock color and I cut that down to five by three and three quarter inches. And the yellow paper underneath that was cut with a dotted rectangle die. So that is a Stamps of Life die set. And that was cut with the Sunshine cardstock. So I thought it would be cute to have this dolphin like he's jumping out of the water. So I'm just taking my craft knife and cutting a slit down the middle of the one of the waves there in the pattern paper and then sticking the dolphin inside that slit. Now I do want to mention that this dolphin and these other pieces, they were die cut from the pattern paper pad using my shadow dies from the Dolphins to Stamp die set. So these are not the actual loose die cut pieces. These were actually die cut out of the, one of the sheets of paper. So I'm just positioning all of the fish and the sentiment and just gluing everything down. I do glue the back side of that dolphin onto the paper and then add that entire layer to the dotted rectangle die cut piece that I cut out. And I am going to add just a few of these white epoxy dots. Just thought it might look like bubbles on this card. And then I'm just going to add this to an A2 size card base. 
and that will complete this card. So moving on to card three. Card three will also be an A2 size card and I'm gonna be bringing in this island to visit stamp set. So first off, I die cut a border out of the um, hillside border which is in the borders die set and I die cut it with the ginger snap cardstock and I just inked up the edges and tapped some ginger snap ink just to add some dimension and texture there and then I took this sand stamp from the island to visit set and I used my chocolate stamps of life ink and then just stamped out some of these just sand particles there on the front of this ginger snap piece. So I just think that that adds for some nice texture and dimension. That piece will actually be used to replicate sand on my card. Next I stamped out the bark of the palm tree. I inked it up using chocolate ink and then I stamped it down onto this piece of scrap twig cardstock that I had in my stash. I stamped out the actual leaves on the palm tree with some green apple ink and stamped it onto some kiwi cardstock. And I will use the matching dies to cut out both the leaves and the tree bark. Moving on, I have this piece of pattern paper. The pattern paper is in the ocean color and it also replicates the waves. And that piece measures five and a quarter by four inches. And I'll adhere the sand piece to the bottom of that pattern paper. Notice I did have the sun and fun word die positioned there. I just wanted to see how far down I needed to put that sand because I didn't want the sign to overlap onto the sand in any way. So once I adhere that sand piece to the bottom of that pattern paper I just take out my ginger snap ink and just ink along the edges because once I trimmed off the excess cardstock the edges did not have any ink on them so I just added some ink just to add some more dimension. The sun and fun was die cut out of the guava cardstock and then the shadow out of the sunshine I'm just adding back that ampersand the middle of that and then for the top part of the ampersand I just used a pink marker and just filled that in and then just gonna lay the palm tree down just see where I need it so basically just positioning all of the elements now before I actually start adhering them with glue I was going to include this ocean colored seashell and then decided at the last minute to replace it with the pink one. I thought the pink one brought out the pink in the sun and fun sign. So I decided to put that one in there whereas the blue one kind of blended in with the ocean scene. So I'm going to go ahead and use my glue to adhere these down. The palm tree leaves will be hanging off the edge but those will be cut off. So I'm just adding all of the elements including the sign and the floaty is going to be kind of resting on top of the tree whereas that seashell I put behind the tree and it's okay if the floaty hangs off a little bit at the end because there will be multiple layers of cardstock underneath that so it should be fine. But I do trim the tree off. I didn't want any of that extending beyond because it was too much cardstock and it may not have fit in an envelope if I left it on there. So I add that to a piece of guava cardstock. That guava cardstock is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And then that will be layered onto an A2 size card base. And the A2 size card base was cut with the sunshine cardstock. So the entire card base is in that yellow color. And then that will complete my card. My next card is going to be another sunglasses fold it card. This time I wanted to bring in some other elements that were not in the card kit. I think the only thing that I included here was actual pattern paper and the sunglasses die, but I wanted to actually show you how you can use a sunglasses die for other cards. They don't have to be just summer cards. So I have the black frame, I have the sunshine paper that I cut with the um, shadow die, and then the lenses I die cut with the pattern paper. And then I'm just adding all of those pieces together. I did die cut these frames with the diagonal out of some black cardstock. So I'm just going to lay those directly on top of that pattern paper. So you can see that pattern paper through those stripes. I love these lenses, how you can add this 
striped piece to the top. I think it just adds so much more fun to this type of card. So I add both of those in there. Notice I have a U Rock die that I die cut out of some strawberry cardstock. And I have some of these stars, and these stars are some of the dotted star dies. They're the actual smaller dies in that dotted star die set. So I have some cut out of the sunshine cardstock and some cut out of the strawberry and just layered those stars on. And then I go ahead and adhere the U Rock directly to the front of the lens. And I'm going to add a few more stars on the right side of those sunglasses. And I think that this is such a fun card. So you can give this card to anybody that is just awesome in your life. And tell them that they rock. You rock. <laughs> and then just add some epoxy dots to the edges for those decorative accent pieces. I also die cut a piece of the white cardstock out of the largest die in the set. Notice the yellow piece behind the black frame. That was cut with the second largest shadow die. And the white piece was cut with the largest shadow die. And then the card base was also cut with the largest shadow die. So I'm just layering those on the card base. So if you want to see how to make that card base again, go back to the first card and you'll be able to see how I did that. And that will complete this card. And moving on to my last card in my five cards, I am doing another sunglasses card. I cut the lenses out of my Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth cardstock because I am going to do some coloring. And I'm taking my Banana Split to Stamp stamp set and I'm inking that up with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to stamp out this Banana Split on the actual lens. And I'm going to do that for both of my lenses. So notice I just stamp it out right in the middle where the actual ice cream portion is, just so you can see a little bit of that ice cream on those lenses. So the stamp is actually too big for the actual lens, but that's okay. I wanted to make this look like the person looking out of the sunglasses is seeing ice cream. <laughs> They're looking at a banana split, and I think this is perfect for a summer card because when I think of summer, I think of not only beach and pool, but I also think of ice cream. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and color these sundaes or these banana splits up with my Copic markers. So I'm using some purple shades, which is in the BV category. My darkest is the BV04, and then my midtone is BV02, and then the lightest is BV01. And I do move on to the pink in the middle, and in the pinks I have R85 as the dark, R83 as the midtone, and then R81 as my light. And then moving on to the third one, I'm coloring up blue. I have B02 as my dark. B01 as my midtone and B00 as my light. And then for the banana, I am coloring that up with Y35 as my dark, Y23 as my midtone, and Y21 as my light. And then underneath that banana is the actual dish of the banana split, which I'm going to use some grays to color that up. I have C4 as my dark, C2 as my midtone, and C1 as my light. Now I will have all of these colors listed in the description box in case you are interested in seeing what those colors are. And then I just give all three of them some chocolate syrup at the top and I believe this color is the E47 and the second brown color I use is the E44. I just use those two colors on the syrup, on the chocolate syrup. Now I'm going to do the same thing for both of these lenses, although I don't show the coloring for both, I only show the coloring for the one. The coloring for the second lens is very similar, but I think after the fact I realized that I didn't even put the actual color ice cream in the same order, <laughs> which is okay, I think it still looks good. So I stamped out the You're So Cool, that also comes with the Banana Split to Stamp stamp set, and then I just take my sunshine ink and just ink up the edges so it's not so white around the edges, just so it has some other color there going around 
the edges. And I did notice I did leave the center white. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing my card together. And I have cut out of the, I believe that's the ocean cardstock for that piece that I'm laying the actual frame on, which was cut out of the second largest shadow die in the set. And then the frame was cut out of guava and then just layering the lenses inside of those frames. And then I'm going to add that entire layer to a piece of sunshine cardstock. That sunshine cardstock was cut with the largest die in the set. And then I also die cut a card base out of the sunshine cardstock. And if you want to see how to make that card base, again, go back to card one where I show you how to do that. And then just layer that directly onto the card base. Add some epoxy dots to the sides. And then I do die cut a cherry. This was from the banana split dies. And I do add a cherry to the sundae. And then I take a white gel pen and just add some highlights to parts of the banana split. And then that will complete this card. So here are the five cards that I created with this kit. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. And I will be posting my video on how I made my sunglasses mini album. So be sure you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss out on that tutorial. Thank you so much for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.